The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. suppose they really left before we got here, and that's a recording. <laughs> here to join me in the reading room? <laughs> well, I guess there's no use trying to fight it. <sighs> you know, since I've been dating Viv, I've read 23 novels, five mystery stories, and the first two volumes of the Bobsy Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a little old for the Bobsy Twins? I forgot my book one night. I had to borrow Jerry's. <laughs> in the middle of a picture. All right, gang. Where do we go for dinner? How about Tony DeBella's? I'm dying for some lasagna. Oh, no. We went there last Saturday night. Let's go someplace else this Saturday night. Uh, how about the country kitchen over in Ridgeberry? Oh, no. I'd like some roast beef. Uh, what about the Colonial Inn? Oh, no, Eddie. The service is so slow. But I get such a kick out of eating in a place that's over 300 years old. Just imagine, George Washington really slept there. Of course he did. He dozed off waiting for his dinner. <laughs> oh, you point. always want roast beef. Yeah, did you I every like Saturday night? Much. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. Why don't you let me decide? Okay? Right. Well, it be Tony DeBello's, the Country Kitchen, or the Colonial Inn? The Cafe Tambourine. <laughs> that wasn't even in the discussion. Well, it is now. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go there. Me either. I know what. I'll write all the names down on here, and we'll draw them out of a hat. How about that? Okay, fine. That's very fair. Not a bad idea. Let's see. Oh, Country okay. Kitchen, Colonial Inn, Tony DeBello, Cafe Tambourine. All right, give me a hat, somebody. Give me a hat. One hat coming up. Right. There. Now, I'll draw one. Oh, no, you don't. I know you. Well. <laughs> oh, come on, Eddie, you draw. Okay. Cafe Tambourine. Oh, good. Well, let's get started. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> Cafe Tambourine. Cafe Tambourine. Cafe Tambourine. <laughs> do you know that that is downright cheating? Lucy. How could you do anything like that? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You certainly should. My. Well, we got to start all over. Where shall we eat tonight? I know where we'll go. The Pink Pheasant. It's perfect because it just opened. We don't know enough about it to knock it. Oh, no. Why not, Eddie? Take it from a traveling man, Tootsie. You don't go to a new place until you hear whether it's good or bad. Let somebody else be the sucker. Well, I'm so hungry, I don't care where we go, as long as we eat. Me I too. don't either. Well, if you don't care, let's go to the Cafe Tambourine. <laughs> oh, why not? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We'll never make that movie before it starts. Oh, wait a minute. What's the matter now? We haven't decided on what movie we're going to see. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Now, let's see. Um, ben Hur is playing at the Ritz. No, I want to see whatever happened to Baby Jane. Oh, no, Viv. That's so scary. Why don't we see the Cary Grant picture at the Danfield Theater? No, I want to see whatever happened to Baby Jane. Well, I don't. I know the one we ought to see. Two for the seesaw. I hear it's great, and there are only two actors in the whole picture. No, no, that's too expensive for me. When I go to the movies, I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the tickets are a dollar and a half, and with just two in the cast, that means that the actors run you 75 cents apiece. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, if you really want to get your money's worth, let's go to Ben-Hur. That has a cast of 30,000. That's 200 actors a penny. <laughs> well, I 
guess I can see Cary Grant some other time. I'll go see Ben-Hur. I'll see Ben-Hur. I'll see a kitty matinee if it'll get us out of this house. Okay, Ben-Hur it is. Good. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what now, Viv? Is it Ben-Hur playing over in Ridgeberry? That's right. Well, as long as we're going to be way over there, it's silly not to eat in the country kitchen. Oh, now, Viv, we already decided to, to eat at the cafe tambourine. Oh, but eating at the country kitchen would save time because we're going to be way over there anyway. But the Colonial Inn is right on our way. As long as we're opening this whole thing up, what was wrong with Tony DeBello? I'll take care of Tony what is this thing Every about? I How are you? Oh, just fine. Mother, Harry's here. Be down in a minute. <laughs> I'm ready for it this time. Have a good time. Thanks, sweetie. Hi there. Are you really ready on time, or is that a fancy bathrobe? <laughs> Down that oh, I was just getting to the good part. Listen, Harry. The reason I asked you to come over early, I wanted to talk to you alone about a little plan that I have. If you're going to ask me to elope again, it's a bad night for us. <laughs> <laughs> My ladder's broken. No, that's not what I had in mind. Good, I wouldn't want to disappoint you. Oh, damn it. Harry. I just thought maybe for once we could go out alone on a Saturday night without Viv and Eddie. Anything wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. I love both of them very much. But to tell you the truth, I'm just a little tired of these Saturday night town hall debates. Where do we go? What do we do? What do we see? Where do we eat? That is a grim little scene. Yeah, but the problem is how to tell them we don't want to be with them without hurting their feelings. Hmm. Why don't we tell them the truth? You mean just walk right up to them and say, Viv, Eddie, we're sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Nope. You've just been given two tickets to a Broadway show. I have? I hope it's a musical. No, no, I meant we'll just say that you've been given two tickets to a Broadway show. Oh? And then we'll pretend that we have to catch the train, but instead we'll go to the Pink Pheasant and have a lovely evening all by ourselves. Isn't that a little risky? Suppose we bump into Eddie and Viv at the Pink Pheasant. Well, you remember what Eddie said last week about going to new restaurants? Oh, yeah. Let somebody else be the suckers. Yeah, so that's just the place for us suckers to go. That's it, then. <laughs> Good. It'll be wonderful to spend Saturday night without Vivian. Oh, there you are. Don't you look pretty, Viv. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Come on in. Hi. <laughs> I guess I won't be needing this. <laughs> well, gang, where will we go tonight? Go oh, by the way. <laughs> Lucy and I won't be going with you tonight. Why not? Well, uh, this afternoon, a good friend of mine gave me two tickets to a Broadway show. So Lucy and I will be going to New York. Yeah, so we can all be together, darn it. Yeah, darn it. Oh, that's too bad. Say, why don't you get a couple of tickets and join us? They can't. Why not? Well, uh, because it's it's a it's a it's a it's a benefit, and they're all they're all sold out. Remember, Harry? Uh, that's right. Yeah. Well, we better be going, honey. Right, right, right. Well, Tootsie, where will we go tonight? There's a good movie at the Bijou. No, I heard that was a bomb, but there's a great Western at the Danfield. Oh, I don't feel like going to a Western tonight. I heard that new Doris Day picture is very cute. I don't feel like Doris Day tonight. Well, then you better see the Western. I don't want to see a Western. I heard it's the best Western ever made. Wait a minute. What are we arguing about? You're not even going. Oh, sorry. Force a habit. I better call a taxi to take us to the station. Oh, yeah. We have to catch a 604. Do you think I'm going to let you take a taxi? No, sir, we'll drive you to the station. 
drive us to the station? Uh, sure, why not? Well, uh, you, you, you're not ready to leave yet. You, you don't know where you're going or what you're going to see or where you're going to go or what you're going to eat. You've got a lot of arguing to do yet. Go ahead. I insist on driving you to the station. Come on, Tootsie, I'll help you with your coat. All right. There you go. All set? Okay, gang, let's go. Yeah. You don't want to miss your train. Oh, we don't want to miss that train. <laughs> good thing we drove you. You'd never have made your train if you'd waited for the taxi. That was very sweet of you, Eddie. Hey, what show are you going to see? Uh, I forgot. Uh, what was the name of it? Uh, it's just opening tonight. That's it, just opening tonight. <laughs> have a good time. Bye. Bye. Well, Tootsie, let's go, huh? Eddie? Yep. Why don't you buy a newspaper? We can decide what movie we're going to see after dinner, huh? Good idea. Yeah, there we are. Well, go ahead. It's your choice. My choice? Yep. Oh, my. Well. <laughs> oh, good. It's still playing. Whatever happened to baby Jane? Oh, no. <laughs> What's wrong? I saw it this week in Philadelphia. Eddie, you didn't. You knew how much I wanted to see that movie. I'm terribly sorry, Tootsie. During dinner, I'll tell you all about what happened to Baby Jane. <laughs> you do, and they'll be asking whatever happened to Eddie Collins. <laughs> but let's decide about the movie at dinner time, huh? Um, Harry! Lucy! <laughs> what happened? Um, uh, what happened? Tell me you missed your train. That's it. That's what we missed, the train. <laughs> well, look, there's another train in 12 minutes, and it only makes one stop in New Rochelle. You're in luck. Yeah, this is our lucky night, all right. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for driving us to the station, Eddie. Yeah, you, you run along and have a nice dinner. Thanks, honey. Well, and leave you two here all alone? <laughs> Oh, no, sir. We're going to stay right here with you and keep you company and make sure you don't miss the next train. Oh, but you don't have to go to all that bother, Oh, Eddie. it's no bother at all. But, but the train will be here in 12 minutes. We don't mind waiting 12 minutes together, do we, Harry? Well, it's kind of nice to have friends to see you off. <laughs> Interesting way to start an evening, making a round trip to New Rochelle. Well, we could have gotten off before New Rochelle, but I'm too chicken to jump off a moving train. <laughs> you know that's a lot of trouble to go to to get rid of your two best friends. You're right. Let's get to the Pink Fizz, and I'm starved. I'll call a taxi. forgot the theater tickets. Good guess. We forgot the tickets. We did? Oh, we did. <laughs> All we have to do is drive them back home, pick up the tickets, and bring them back here before they know it. Oh, no, no, Eddie. We wouldn't let you go to all that trouble. That's no trouble at all. We'd be glad to do it. Oh. Just think, if I hadn't left my gloves, we wouldn't have been able to come back here and help you out. How about that? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Let's go. Wait a minute, Eddie. We can't let you do this. It's too much of an imposition. Not at all. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I just happened to think. What? What? Uh, uh, you know, you, you, you left those theater tickets on, on the coffee table, and I picked them up, and I put them in my bag. Yep, they're there. Where? Where? <laughs> oh, well, then, Eddie, that's fine. What time's the next train? Well, let's take a look. At uh, 7.42. <laughs> Now, uh, wait a minute. That doesn't get into New York until a quarter to nine. There's no point in going. You'll miss half the show. Oh, we don't mind that, do we, Harry? Oh, uh, you know how I hate to get in the middle of a show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's an express in 15 minutes. 
Yeah, but that doesn't stop here. Yeah, I know, but it stops at Ridgeberry, and we can drive you there in ten minutes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that won't be necessary. No, that's too much trouble. We'll just catch a train right here. It doesn't stop here. Oh, that's all right. We'll just hang on a hook, and they can pick us up with the mail. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute, huh? Come on, we're driving you to Ridgeberry. Oh, set, Bill. Let's go. Shell again. <laughs> oh boy, it's good to be back in Danfield again. I was kind of growing fond of New Rochelle. <laughs> Call a taxi cab. I'm starved. Right. Oh, wouldn't you know? You know, if we'd been traveling in a straight line, we'd be in Miami Beach by now. <laughs> You're right. And if we were in Miami Beach, Viv and Eddie would be meeting us at the station and shoving us back on the train for New Rochelle. <laughs> oh, I hope that pink pheasant's good. I'm starved. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, this place must be good. Look at the crowd. Yeah. The thing I like about it, it isn't leaving in two minutes for New Rochelle. <laughs> Would you like to order? Oh, yes, sir. Would we like to order? Tell him. We'll have the uh, roast beef rare for both of us and uh, a couple of shrimp cocktails. Yes, sir. And the roast beef about that thick and nice and juicy, huh? Yes, ma'am. I'm ma very hungry. <laughs> yes, well, we finally made it. It's Saturday night. We're having dinner without Viv and Eddie. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Hear what they're playing? Yeah. Want to dance? Yeah, I'd love to. Good. Table for two, please. I'm terribly sorry, but as you can see, I don't have a thing right now. Oh, dear. There's Viv and Eddie. You're kidding. They'll see oh, us. Duck! Duck! <laughs> Are they there? Yeah. I think they're trying to get a table. Are they still there? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you could care to wait a few minutes in the other room, I might have something. Well? Okay. I think they're going. Good. I think they've gone. Oh, boy. Oh. Why did they come here? I don't know. Oh, my God, they couldn't get a table. Boy, that was close. Why did they come here? Eddie said he wouldn't come to one of these places. I can't figure it either. For heaven's sake, if I didn't know better, I'd think we were being shadowed by the FBI. <laughs> oh, I gotta call the airline and check in. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, Harry. Huh? If you see the waiter, will you ask him to hurry? I'm so hungry. I'll hurry him up. <sighs> good evening, madam. Oh, good evening. May I play something for you? Oh. Uh, uh, do you know Dark Eye? <laughs> Orchichornia? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have a table for you, Mr. Collins. Well, oh, good. thank you, thank you. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Uh, you know I have the table. 
Okay, no. okay, fine. Thank you. You know, I, uh, I still don't like the idea of coming to a restaurant that hasn't been recommended. Now, Eddie, this is the only restaurant within a radius of 20 miles that had an empty table, so it has been recommended by me. Well, we'll just see how good it is. All righty. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> what for? I just kicked you. No, you didn't. Well, didn't you feel anything? No, it must have been the table leg. Oh. Oh, wow! <laughs> I felt it that time. Oh, I'm so sorry, Eddie. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to order? Oh, are you ready? Yes, I want a shrimp cocktail and prime ribs of beef, medium rare. That's uh, two large shrimp cocktails, uh, prime ribs, medium rare, and a nice, big, thick, juicy steak. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll have the way to bring the shrimp cocktail right away. Thank you. Now we'll just see what kind of service they have. Two shrimp cocktails. So far. Must say it's pretty good. <laughs> no, sure. Thanks. There you are. Mmm. Oh, that's the best shrimp I ever tasted in my whole life. That's pretty good sauce, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you like a roll? No, thanks, Daddy. I'm trying to cut down. Oh, come on, come on. One won't hurt. Well, guess one won't hurt. <laughs> oh! Let it go, let it go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. If you're going to cut down, don't eat butter. Oh, now, come on, Eddie. Let no, me no, 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 you don't. Oh. <laughs> Not even one pack, you promise? Everybody'll look at us if you hold my hand like that. Well, nobody'll see us if we hold our hands under the table. It's <laughs> 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 pretty hard. I'm sorry, Tootsie. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, may I play something for you? Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, but we want something gay and lively, you know? Yes. Something real lively. A charter. A charter. Oh, <laughs> I oh. love those. <laughs> for you? <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing under there? What time does this table leave for New Rochelle? <laughs> Lucy, looks like we're trapped. Yeah, we have a confession to make. We didn't have any theater tickets. We just wanted to be alone by ourselves on a Saturday night. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> we have a confession to make, too. 
What? We wanted to be alone on a Saturday night. That's why we kept putting you on that train. Oh. <laughs> Look, we can all be alone some other time. So how about having dinner now together? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.